guys, welcome back. I am up to it again doing another pour. As you can see, I've already done one, <laughs> so I'm doing another one. And I figured I would try another cloud pour. So, sorry for my big head shadow. I'm in the kitchen. I thought I'd pour upstairs instead of the basement, and then Juno is out on the back deck out there, so I can keep my eye on him. I figured it'd be mean to put him in his crate, so. All right, so I am gonna try another cloud pour, and this time, usually the cloud pours I've done have all been all blues or all purples, um, and then I did a purple and yellow mix. So this time, I am I just finished doing um, a kiss pour using warm and cold colors. So I still had the colors up here. So I figured I'd try a, a cloud pour with the same colors. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I'm experimenting just like I always do. So let's go for it. So the colors I'm using here are, this one is Amsterdam and it is called greenish blue uh, and then I have metallic cobalt blue by artist loft put that there then I have cadmium red deep hue by liquitex basics and then I have this blue which is brilliant blue by liquitex basics and then I have orange by artist loft and iridescent blue green by pebeo studio acrylics and last but not least i have the yellow deep hue by liquitex basics all the paints are mixed with floetrol and a smidge of water and a few drops of liquitex basics um, pouring medium so liquitex pouring medium in all of them and then only in the yellow do I have the deco art satin enamel? Okay, so I have a little bit of that in there. Um, normally I cover my canvas. Um, I didn't make any extra paint to cover it. So I'm going to um, pour everything in the center and then I'm gonna use my greenish blue and um, get all the edges. And then that way the paint will flow easier um, off the edges. So let's start. I've got my glass measuring cup here because I like that it has um, the spout. So that's a mess. Let's leave that there, shall we? <laughs> All right, let's see. Actually, here. Let's do this. Let me see if I can just cover it. There we go. All right, that should be good. I'll just put this here for a minute. All right, that works. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start, typically I go darkest to lightest, um, but because I'm mixing colors, I just kinda went with the flow here. So, and the consistency I have here is the same consistency I use to do my Dutch pours. Now, whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. Um, like I said, everything I do is an experiment. I don't like following rules clearly and following measurements and all that stuff clearly. Um, so, I just kind of wing it. So then what you want to do is um, pour it from up high so that it sinks, um, which is what I'm trying to do, but there's not very much paint in these cups because every time I do a cloud pour, I end up using way too much paint. So I trying not to use so much paint and we'll see what happens. Okay, all right, let's go with the red. Oh, that sunk. Oh yeah. I wonder if you can see that. I will be super interested to see 
what happens with this. Okay. Next, we have the light blue. Yep. So it looks like it's sinking now, now that there's more paint in there. Like I said, I have no idea how this is gonna work out. Might be cool, might be poop. <laughs> Who knows? I sure as heck don't. I tell you though, the metallic cobalt and that greenish blue, oh my God, they look so amazing in here, in this cup, it's so cool. I think it's my new favorite color. All right. And last but not least, the yellow with all the satin enamel in it. I'll drizzle some of that on the top. Why? I don't know, because I just decided I wanted to. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, guys, that is that. Put those there. All right, look at that. That looks pretty cool. Now what it's gonna look like on the canvas, who the heck knows, <laughs> we'll find out together. All right, put that back. You guys are in view. And here goes nothing. So here's my center. Try and pour it there. That is a lot of yellow, man. It's a sea of yellow. Here comes my dark blue. And a little bit of red is trickling out on the side. There comes all my blue now. Well, all the yellow's on the outside, kind of, which is where all the satin enamel is. So we will see what happens with this. Holy cow, this is exhausting. Where's my orange? Where is my red? All I see is yellow and blue. Where are all my colors? This should be interesting, guys. And even though I thought it wasn't going to be a lot of paint, I think it still is a lot of paint, which is crazy. Holy cow, man. It's like the never-ending cup. Should I insert some Jeopardy music here while we wait? Okay, catch the drips. Wow, look at that. That looks pretty cool. Huh. Now that, I don't know. I don't know. So, let's 
Not that I need any more of this color. Good God, now that I think about it, I probably should have used a different color. Ah well, too late. Too late. Get my edges. See, this is a, the result of me being lazy. I, I'm not going to lie. Total lazy. I didn't want to cover the whole canvas. And really, there's some, you know, why should I cover all of that when all the paint's going on it anyway, right? When you think about it. Why cover it? If you're going to pour all the paint in the middle, all you really need are the corners and the edges, right? So let's cover the corners and the edges. And just like that, this color is almost empty. Can you tell I used it a lot today? It's such a beautiful color though, like for real. It's like my new favorite color. It's so pretty. Green, blue. Okay, I'm covered. I am covered. Okay guys, let's torch it. Okay, well, here goes nothing. So small, slow, circular motion. And we all know how I have absolutely no patience for doing things slow, which is horrible. Holy cow, the yellow and the blue, I swear, I'm gonna have to stretch this out if I wanna see any other colors other than this mud going on in here. So, we will see. I see the red, the orange is gonzo, completely gone. I don't see any orange in here at all. Oh, and I thought pouring out of the cup was the boring part. This is more boring. Center starting to look a little pretty. I'm going to take it over the edge. Okay, I'm going to bring it back. Yeah, this is a dark painting, like seriously dark painting. All right, let's take it down to the other corner. Bring it back to the center. All right, and now let's go this way. And come back. And go one last time in the opposite corner. Try 
try and make it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, not so bad. Let's bring it back to the center. Let me see here. I think I want to bring some of this off. Because I'm I like the blue. We'll just do a bit. I'm gonna bring it back. Maybe that'll stretch out the red a bit. Let's see if I can bring it right back in the center. Stretch out my red. All right, different, that's for sure. It's very dark, <laughs> really dark. See the light blue in there. All right, let's see. I'm a mess. All right. Uh, let me bring it down without doing anything silly. There we go. All right. Like, I mean, it's not the prettiest of colors, but I had, like I said, I had leftover paint. Thought I'd do the cloud effect. It's interesting. It's not horrible. Let's see if I can see. Like, I mean, that's pretty cool. I like this here. This here looks pretty cool. And then you have the reds and more of the greens and the blue. Or not green, but... Well, there you go. There you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Yay or nay. So, let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that is it, guys. Check out all my um, links below to my social media, my Amazon shops, the U.S. and the Canada Amazon shop, and, of course, the PayPal link for anyone who'd like to donate. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.